Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. And I tend to talk about different topics as and when either I'm asked about them or if I'm inspired to talk about them. Um, I thought I actually did this video before because I remember watching a Panorama program talking about how so many students had cheated English tests, international students. And so I'd written something down, I'd written some notes. Anyway, I thought I did a video on it, but I got a request to do um, a video about uh, what was written in The Guardian only I think uh, just a couple of days ago um, about the same thing so I'm going through my videos thinking I'm sure I did something on it but I can't find it so therefore I'm going to cover it again. Now what's happened is 34,000 international students have had their visas revoked now, it was based on that Panorama program that I saw a few months ago. It actually originally came out in 2014, where it was saying that a lot of international students were using proxies to sit the English test. It's called the English, what's it called again? Um, test of English for International Communication. Anyway, it's the test that students have to complete in order to qualify to come in to the UK and be a student. Anyway, so on this Panorama programme, they were talking about how many um, people were you sending proxies in, enlisting proxies, paying them to do the test for them. Home Office got onto it and thought, oh my God, we're being outdone, we're being cheated. And of course, they make an irrational decision to revoke or cancel 34,000 students' visas. Now, they reckon they had a machine that would tell them who the um, who did that, who were cheating. But apparently the machine was faulty and it resulted in 20% um, of students, uh, which translated into 7,000 being wrongfully deported. Now, it seems that only 300 of them are in a position to appeal. And hopefully if they can get their appeal done, that they will be able to work on behalf of the others who cannot afford it and that the whole thing will be revisited. The National Audit Office is on it and apparently they are they're reporting their findings at the end of May, beginning of June. The National Audit Office, they look into malpractices of government institutions and a lot of, you know, the public sector. And they're the ones that examined the Windrush and brought that out into the open. So it's an independent organisation that sees how public money is being used. So they're on it. And the only thing is, is that while these students are waiting, the ones that are appeal, a lot of them are in detention, a lot of them are pending deportation. And you know what that means? It means that they won't be able to travel to any other country. It means they won't be able to get any jobs. It means that they can't access NHS, public resources. They can't do anything. And it's not their fault. Is okay, I don't see why all of so many of them have to pay the price for so few and that is the problem so some of them are destitute and it's really really sad and as we know they can't access um, legal aid because legal aid is not allowed for immigration cases unless it's asylum or something like that so it's really really sad that so many international students had paid for the, the course to come on and I doubt very much if they got their money back and you know this is the situation um, of course they need to clear their names and that is why you know they're appealing we all know what nationality they probably are varies and um, they're considered a foreign national so they pay a higher price than anyone else as we've seen in the past so you know there's something about the English um, government 
that seems to think that if someone's getting over on them, they take it out on everyone. It's almost like it's a reactionary behaviour. So it's it's not like, you know, a rational person would um, just deal with those people who they can prove actually cheated. You wouldn't make a random um cancellation of so many people's visa thinking okay you know you think you're going to get away with this we haven't got time to look into every single one so we're just going to cancel all of them which seems to be the action that they've taken i'm not saying it is the action that they've taken but it appears to be that that seems to be the case i just want to make sure i've covered everything else okay the home office of 34,000 of the 54,458 students who took the test they claim they cheated and a further 22,600 had questionable results um so yeah, they've stripped them all of their right to work, access to health care, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, another one short and sweet. And that's all for now. Just keeping you in the loop. Bye.